Hey, I'm Tim. And I'm Brian. And welcome to the Mr. Maple Show. Today we want to do something a little bit different. We know you love that Confer content, so we're going to bring you something Confer wise today. And today, Brian is going to be sort of talking about, uh, asking me some questions about some of the plants he finds interesting here in our Conifer house. Yeah, I, I, I haven't got a chance to grow very many of these different conifers, so I'm interested to learn more and more about them. And uh, we've got some really cool selections here. Um, so let's check a few of them out. Uh, one that's really standing out to me here, I believe this is a Hinoki cypress. Yeah, yeah, that's one called Confucius. This is a dwarf golden Hinoki cypress. You know I love those yellows. Yeah. And this is going to be an evergreen with that yellow color. You want to give it some sunlight, though, to really pick up that yellow color. In the shade, it can get a little more muted. Uh, this is a nice mid-size to small Hinoki cypress that is a great tree to sort of pair around some Japanese maples and give some color. Yeah. So, I mean, it's going to look really good next to a red Japanese maple cascading or an upright. Right. There's some great sizes on these as well. So these we, we'll be having these available soon here at Mr. Maple. So stay tuned for those. Pretty cool plant. So, Brian, what, what's piquing your interest out here? Um, I tell you, it's all about texture and color. You know, that, that's yeah. what's great about conifers. It gives you a lot of different colors, a lot of different textures. So this one here kind of caught my eye when we first walked in. Uh, that's got a really great compact form on that. Yeah, the uh, Piccolo, that is a really nice dwarf compact fir. Uh, it's going to be really, really small. We're talking that three to four foot range. Uh, these are grafted onto firma, so you're going to make sure that if you're down in zone eight, you're going to have to give it some protection from the hot afternoon sun. These are not grafted onto firma, they're grafted onto Coriana. Gotcha. Not firma, but Coriana. And no for that, yeah. Yeah. Those, so right. you got to give it some protection in the high heat, and if you have high heat humidity, might not be the best plant for you. But if you have a nice little dwarf conifer garden, uh, this is an ideal little fir that I think a lot of people will like because it's tight, green, and compact. Yeah, you can fit that in anywhere in any type of garden yeah. you have is, uh, with the space on that. You know, there's so many other great ones here. It's hard to just pick a few, but. Uh, this right here's got some great texture too. It looks like a very narrow growing. Yeah, yeah. This is a narrow growing uh, Spanish fir. Okay. Yeah. And so again, this is one that's grafted onto Coriana. So if you have high heat humidity, you want to avoid one that's grafted onto Coriana. But we're right here in Western North Carolina. It does fantastic. Um, and this is one called Fastigiata. We for years called it Fastigata, <laughs> but it's actually got an eye in it. It's Fastigiata because it's fastigit. Right. And that makes perfect sense now since we, we think about it. But this is a Spanish fir that just has that nice narrow habit. Well, and so you know, I've, had, that, I've had so many plants over the years, it's nice now to finally learn how to say them properly. <laughs> I, I rely on Matt and Tim a lot to say, now how do you pronounce that before I make a fool of myself? So. Well, <laughs> we, we try to do our best. We still have egg on our face sometimes, right. but uh, this one's a, a, a nice columnar evergreen that will give something a little more... Uh, narrow which is it was really nice for a fur selection yeah absolutely. i mean most of your furs are going to be much more wider growing yeah, more conical they get pretty big, and, yeah. and this one's going to be more, way way more narrow than the rest very cool plant for sure you know i mean i can't help but just pull pull them up here <laughs> tom I mean, thumb they just they just keep screaming at me yeah you know the tom thumb man look at this thing it's i think we've done a lot of videos on these high yeah. grafted tom thumbs uh it it's one of those plants that i love because of that yellow color i mean it's gonna be right around that two foot one foot by two foot kind of size yeah after 10 years and so these are grafted higher which makes that ball shape that lollipop right there on top but gives you that yellow color i mean i mean that's it's outstanding yeah i think we have these coming pretty soon here yeah. at mr maple as well and yeah uh, and these are were witches is it was a witch's broom on skylands yeah which everybody loves skylands and this one is that dwarf compact form and just great color i mean yeah. it's just really popping especially right now with everything else here green yeah i mean you, you look in there you, your eyes goes right yeah exactly. right to the tom thumbs it was found by the vercades no it was found by tom thumb nursery tom thumb. and then introduced by the vercades yeah Pretty so cool. i mean they've introduced a lot of great plants from crimson queen uh shout out uh to dave if you're watching uh, your, his family is one of the most integral people in conifers and uh, some unique maples as well. Dave's got a lot of really unique maple selections. Yeah, let me grab one more over here. It keeps looking at looking at me. Uh, 
<clears throat> ah, okay. Blue mound here. Yeah, that's when they would actually pair real well with that Tom Thumb because that blue color. Absolutely. Yeah, that is a dwarf Swiss stone pine. And so that's going to be very conical um, and, and more dwarf and compact. But it's one of those things that just gives you a nice little dwarf pine tree out there in the landscape. Excellent for those conifer gardens and something that gives that blue color. I mean, yeah, just great blue color on that. You get that blue color, pair that with some yellows, pair that with some reds. You put a Tom Thumb on one side, a red lace leaf beside of it, and the Confucius on the other side, your eyes just pop out, right? Yeah, exactly. That just really would add a lot to the garden. Beautiful, beautiful plants. Man, there's so many to choose from here. Yeah, I, love I, I love this pixie dust on yeah, the lollipops. I'm gonna pull that up and just talk about it. Anyways, because I love this plant. And they're this, just starting to pop some new growth on that. You can see that they're about to light up. Yeah, and so this is another lollipop grafted on a high standard, just making that dwarf rounded habit at top, that dwarf conical habit. And this thing, when it pushes new growth, you see it's just about there on the new growth. It's going to be a bright sort of creamy white, and that's where it gets the name of that pixie dust. Yeah. And so they're just about to flush on those. They are. And those just look awesome right now. I mean, yeah. you look in here, and it's just so unusual having that on the standard. I mean, that would be an awesome way to line a, a walkway or something. Sure, and we also have them on a low graft here, so you can kind of see the difference there. Same plant. Same just, plant. Just grafted in two different locations. Very cool. I just love the structure of it. You know, it's like the perfect little shape. Uh, you could add that in just about any type of garden. There's a lot of the little dwarf white spruces that just add so much to the landscape and garden, and they're great for uh, the conifer garden, but they're great to pair with maples. Yeah. Good to put in the fairy garden. So they're going to do really well. Yeah, I'm really excited about being out here in North Carolina now. I know that a garden here, I can experiment a lot more with conifers. It's so much, I have so much to learn about them. It's, it's like kind of learning a whole new language with the different species and all the different varieties. But uh, just, like, just like maples, there's so much to learn about them and so much to explore and enjoy. See, see my first love was maples. And it's always going to be my, my, my main love when it comes to plants are the maples. Yeah. But the conifers are such an excellent way to pair in with the maples and give that evergreen interest, which really makes the maples pop more because the maples are ever changing. They drop their leaves, they come out in the spring, they go towards the summer, and then they go towards the fall with some amazing fall colors. And you just see this constant seasonal change. With the conifers, you often have a year-round interest where they're gonna have that same structure, that same needles on there with these evergreen conifers, but uh, a certain color. Right. And so it's great to pair in there yeah. to give that full garden. Yeah, I think you know a lot of uh, conifer growers, I think they, they have that, that benefit of that year-round color in their garden. And I think a, a, most gardeners are gonna wanna try to accomplish that balance between deciduous and evergreen, and uh, just to give you, uh, you know, that year-round interest out in your garden. Thanks for watching today's video on just some conifers that interested us today, interested him a little bit, and interested me a little bit as well. I hope you enjoyed this conifer content. Yeah, we greatly appreciate you guys watching. If you guys are enjoying this, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. Uh, we've got a lot more videos to come, so stay tuned. Also make sure one of the best ways to support this channel is by shopping on mrmaple.com. Make sure you sign up for a weekly emails on Mr. Maple as well. You just go to mrmaple.com, a pop-up will pop up. Plug in your email address and you'll be signed up for our weekly emails when you type that in. Uh, that's the way so you'll know when these conifers and some of our maples are coming out first and you'll be able to have the first chance to get this. So you guys, hope you have a great day. God bless. Take care.